I've been a blacksmith armorer for over 30 years. Pirates of the Caribbean, Zorro, Blade. I've created weapons for over 200 feature films. This is Man at Arms. make the blade 36 inches long. You always start with a pattern or template. I trace the pattern onto the steel itself to give an outline for the bandsaw. The line down the center of the blade is typically known as a blood groove or a fuller. They call it a blood groove because when they stab someone, the fuller would allow it to uh, release the vacuum so it wouldn't stick in the body. The belt grinder goes at 5,000 surface feet per minute with a 10-inch contact wheel. Touching this machine while it's running would take the skin off to the bone. You learn quickly not to do that. I quench the steel in heat treating oil in order to harden it. The blade came out a little warped, so we'll have to straighten it in tempering. This machine will give me the strength of 70 hammers at once. I do a lot of my forging by eye. There is no measurements or templates. It's all done by experience. My eyeballs were a little bit long at this point. <laughs> It's nice, if you mess up, you can reheat it and reforge it. I have more control with a hand hammer, so when I get into the details, I'm gonna refine it by hand. I have hammers 200 years old to hammers I made myself the day before yesterday. To get the details on the hilt, I'm soldering on a filigree brass plate. The Lannister sword has a double lion head pommel, so I'm creating a wax pattern. Once the wax model is complete, I mix up investment, which is like plaster Paris, and I pour that into the can that contains the wax pattern. When I stick this in the oven, the wax will melt out and the investment will harden, leaving me a mold. In order to make the pommel, we need to melt some bronze. Bronze melts at 1800 degrees, so this needs to get hot. It only takes a few moments for the bronze to cool down to a solid. There are a few imperfections that we can fix with no problem. There is an art to this. If you push too hard, you can remove all of the details. Pommel totally surprised me, because I thought that was going to be a failure. <laughs> all pieces are together, and Jamie Lannister's sword is complete. Thanks for watching Man at Arms. Be sure to subscribe. Tell me in the comments what weapon you'd like to see next. <laughs>